Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video over my saddle handbag collection. Um, it is going to be another installment of my handbag collection video. So um, the last one I think I did was like my tote bags. So today we're going to do saddle bags. Um, and just like that one, I will just like quickly show the bag, a quick um, description of the um, bag as well, and then move on to the next one. So yeah, if you're interested in today's video, um, please do stay tuned. And then just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags bags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. The first saddle bag I want to talk about is this one here, which is the Cap Saddle Bag um, 20 in black with brass hardware. So this is the smaller of like the two Cap Saddle Bags. There was like the larger one, which is like the normal size, and then the smaller one here in the 20 size. Um, and this one's really cool because it is like a play on like different textures of leather. So on the front here, you can see that they use um, suede for like the bottom portion of the bag here, and then they have the smooth leather detail, and then a um grainy pebbled leather on top which I think gives like this bag a lot of interest and um, a lot of detail as well using the combination of like um, mixed materials like this and then I also really loved that this, this one too has the really cool horse and carriage buckle detail on the front it kind of reminds me of like the Riley bags um, so I kind of wish they named this bag like the Riley saddle bag or something just because it has that detail that's very reminiscent um, to the Riley um, bags. And then when it comes to like, the cat saddle bag, what I really like about this bag is that it's a very like fall winter bag in my like saddle bag arrangement, um, just because it does have that suede detail here on the front like so. Um, and I personally find like suede as a material more of like a fall winter bag, um, and definitely too because this is like in black suede. Um, so since the weather is getting a little bit cooler, I will be using this bag um, pretty shortly here. And then here's a quick look at the inside too if you were curious. Um, it is just like, you know, a flap style closure. It has like a magnet there. And then it has two compartments, a smaller front pocket, a larger interior compartment here, and then a little slip pocket. And the entire inside of the bag is lined in leather. So yeah, that is the first bag. Okay, so the next saddle bag is this one here, which is the Hutton saddle bag in the color chalk with brass hardware. And I will say that out of all the saddle bags in my collection, I think I use this one the most, um, just because I really like the more modern, updated look. Um, it has a slightly more boxy look, in my opinion, and I really like that. And I also love the leather choice that they did. They did too. Um, it's like a smooth leather, but it does have a slight texture to it which I think is really interesting. And then I also love this really interesting turn lock as well for like the Hutton collection. Um, it does have, you know, that rectangular turn lock with the um, horse and carriage logo on top here and then the um, coach text underneath. And then I also just like how it opens to like the whole like metal bar like lifts up, which I think is really cool. And then I also used to have this bag in black as well with like the brass hardware. However, I did end up giving that one to my friend just because between the two hut and saddle bags, I found myself using the chalk one a little bit more just because it worked really well with my outfits. And then um, I also did have um, a couple of other black bags in my collection that I gravitate towards as well. And I just wasn't going towards that one. So I ended up giving that one to my friend and she's been really liking it. So yeah. Okay, so the next belt bag is this one here, which is the saddle belt bag. And it's called like the saddle belt bag just because it does have um, an area in the back here where you can turn this into a little fanny pack. And it comes with its own belt um, as well, which I think is really cool. Um, but if you don't want to carry it as a belt bag, you definitely have like the little chain crossbody strap, which it comes with. Um, and that's how yeah, I usually carry this bag is more of like a little crossbody bag. Um, but I think overall this bag is super cute and adorable. Um, and I really like this one because it does have the C turn lock as well on the front here. The main reason why I added this bag into my collection is that I wanted to be like twins with my friend. Um, so she has this saddle bag and like the signature um, canvas version. Um, and I didn't want to like copy her. So I ended up getting this one here and I really like it because I was able to customize it. So I did get like a cute little rocket ship pin 
on the front here and then some little stars on the sides just so it kind of looks like a starry night. Um, so I think it looks super cute like this. And then I also, again, really like the little sea turn lock as well with this one. The next bag I'm going to talk about is this one here, which is the Fringe Saddlebag 23. Um, and this one's really cool because it is like that traditional coach saddlebag shape. Um, but this one's really fun because it has this beautiful fringe detailing on the front and back. And I think it gives the bag a lot of like interest and looks very different as well. Um, and I also love this particular saddlebag just because they usually are made of smooth glove tan leather or um and like the calf hair I think you guys have seen sometimes um but this, this one's really cool because it is actually in like a really soft supple glove tan pebbled leather so I think that's really cool that they did that for these um saddlebags after getting the white saddlebag I loved it so much when I saw it in person that I ended up ordering this one too which is um in the color flax and it has like the same color hardware like the gunmetal hardware um but what I did with this one is that I did go ahead and customize it myself so I added these really fun pins here on the front um just to change the look of this bag a little bit so um they didn't look too much like of the same bag just because you know it is like the same shape and style just different colors um so I feel like adding these little pins here on the front really look um cute on this one and I like that um it's also mixed metals too so it has like um gold and also like silver hardware as well mixed together. Okay, so next saddle bag is this one here which is the color block saddle bag 23 um, and this one's really cool because it has this really interesting um, pull tab detail right here on the front so it has like the c-shaped closure on the front and then you have to pull this leather tab here to actually open the bag um, which I think is really cool and I will say makes the bag very beautiful in my opinion um, just because it does have this very architectural like c-shaped detail on the front um, and I also love that this one too is tri-colored as well so it is chalk um, on like the front and back of the bag and then on the sides here it is in I believe 1941 saddle um, which I think is really beautiful and then has um, the black leather strap and tabs as well which I think is so cool and then just like the cat saddle bag I mentioned earlier, I feel like for me, this one is more of like a fall winter bag. Um, and I don't really know why, just because I feel like it is a really great year round bag um, because it is like a really pretty like, you know, tri-color, like I mentioned earlier. But I don't know, something about the color combination and like the way it's laid out um, for me, I personally think it is a really great fall winter bag. So um, I will be also bringing this bag out as well into my fall winter rotation. So yeah, love this one a lot. The next bag in my saddlebag collection is going to be this one here, which I believe is called the Trail Bag, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it is a really pretty um, like saddlebag shaped bag. Um, I'm not actually sure if it's like technically a saddlebag, but in my opinion, I'm going to lump it with my saddlebags because I don't know where to put this bag um, in like my handbag collection. So I'm going to say that it's a saddlebag. Um, and I really like this one because the leather on it is super soft and supple. And I really like it too because on the inside of the bag here, you'll see that it is like those um, vintage coach bags that are like not lined. And I really like that a lot. Um, and it does have the really cool like straps too, like the vintage bags too, that have the really thick um, leather binding around the strap, which you can kind of see is coming back now um, that Coach is doing some of the bags with this like leather binding detail, which I think is cool. Um, and then again, the color of this bag too is really pretty. It is in a really dark blue and then the brass hardware as well. And then the next saddlebag in my collection is this one here, which is the Beat saddlebag in the color ivory with brass hardware. And what I really like about this bag is the details of the saddlebag itself. Um, so as you can see on the front of the bag, it does have this really interesting leather detail that goes around the flap and the front um, portion of the bag, which I think does um, kind of like frame the bag and gives it like more of an interesting look. And then also this dramatic C buckle detail as well. It really is eye catching being that it looks like the shape of the letter C or like a horseshoe, which I think is really cool. And then the weird thing that I really like about this bag is that every time you close it, it has like this little like clicking sound it makes. Um, which I think is really interesting. So I don't know if you're able to hear it, but like every time you close the bag, it does that little like 
clicking sound, which I really like. And the other thing too I really like about um, this bag is that it is in the color ivory. Um, so I feel like in my collection, I have a ton of bags in the color chalk. Um, so having this bag in ivory does make it feel a little bit different, um, even though it's not like too far off from chalk. So here they are next to each other. Um, you know, they are both very light neutral colors, um, but I don't know, being this one is an ivory, it feels a little bit more different, and um, I feel like it's more a workable color for like year-round and stuff, so, like fall, winter, and then, um, yeah, I named both seasons like fall and winter. Um, it would look really good in like that situation, so yeah, there's that. Okay, so the next two bags are going to be the Rambler bags. I have the regular size Rambler bag in the color hibiscus, and then I have this one here in like the pine green color block. Um, and this one is the Rambler 16, so it is the smaller version of the regular Rambler bag. And I count these as my saddle bags, um, like in my collection, just because they are basically like the saddlebag shape. It's just that they're like a little bit more boxy than like a regular saddlebag. Um, but I feel like overall they have like the same function, you know, with like the long adjustable crossbody strap and then like the flat saddle closure too. Comes like the larger Rambler bag. Um, the main reason why I bought this bag is because of the color. I really like this like half pink and purple combination. I think it looks really interesting and different. Um, and I really don't have a lot of bags in my collection either that is like, more of like the purple side. Um, so I justified getting it because I don't have a lot of bags in like the purple color um, but I really love the color of this bag and then it also does have that slight burnished effect too on like the sides of the bag so I know you're able to see it because of the camera light but it does have a slight burnished effect on it as well. And the main reason why I added the Rambler 16 bag into my collection is because of the size. I think it is so cute and little. Um, and I also really like the color combination of this bag as well. So it's like the light saddle color with this really pretty like ocean blue color, I believe, or azure blue. Um, so it's like really bright and punchy and then this like light lilac pink and this really dark green um, leather as well. So I think like all the colors together look really interesting, different. Um, I think it's just like a really fun bag as well. And this one and the larger Rambler bag, um, I do have plans on getting them customized as well. So I think I might do like coach pins or coach embroidery on these bags as well. So the last saddle bag in my collection is a really fun one. And that is this bag here, which is the fringe saddle crossbody bag, I believe. Um, this one's really cool because it does feature this really interesting like fringe detail throughout the bag. Um, and this one's a little bit more intricate than the um, saddle bags I showed earlier, just because it does have um, some like stud details at the bottom of the fringe. And then it does um, also feature this split stitch detail on the back as well. And they are also individually tied onto the bag. So I don't know you'll be able to see it, but they do have these leather dots that um, tie onto the bag like so. And then the cool part is on the flap, it has these really interesting um, details that are like bedazzled on there, which I think are so cool. And then these fun little charms as well. And then out of all the saddlebags in my collection, I feel like this is more of like a statement piece than like a functional piece, um, just because it's not very big. So even though it does look fairly large because of the fringe detailing, um, if you look on the back here, it doesn't have that much like functional space because this is all of like the bag. Um, the nice part too is that it does come with a back pocket, um, but it's not a very big bag overall. And then it also is a very slim bag as well, as you can see here. Um, but I will say overall, it is a really fun and interesting piece and I love the crystals on the front as well. I think this collection they did was so cool and different um, and it's just such a fun bag. And then the color of this bag too is fuchsia which is one of my favorite shades of pink that Coach has ever done. So yeah, there's that bag. Okay, so that does it for today's video over my entire saddle bag collection. Um, if you guys have any questions about the bag, just leave a comment down below or you can also um, message me on Instagram as well and I can try to help you out that way. Um, I typically do reply back a little bit faster on Instagram because I'm more active on there. Um, but yeah, either way will work and I'll try to respond back to you as soon as possible. Um, but if you guys did like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing and you can follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye.